Now I'm going to demonstrate how to make a page with an image gallery in it to show off images from my magazine perhaps. So again, I scroll down to pages, add new page, and I'm going to call this page magazine gallery. And again, I could choose one of these and there are <clears throat> preset ones that you could choose from, for example, that have interactivity, that scroll, slideshows like that. Um, I'm going to choose a blank one because I'm used to doing things my own way. So I'm going to choose magazine gallery. And I'm going to insert a new block underneath that. And this is going to be a gallery. So I'm going to choose this. <coughs> And this block, I'm going to select images from my image library. I've uploaded them previously, so I'm just going to choose <coughs> a few of these. Let's just choose this one, this one, and this one. And maybe this one. Okay. And I can change the way these images appear. Um, at the moment, it's one solid block. So you can change the block style, images, slideshow. You can make it a slideshow instead. I'm just going to save that as it is. Publish. And then perhaps um, I can choose to edit this. It's now live. And the gallery, I'm showing three three columns, but I could change that. I'll show you how I can alter it. So it's there, it's two. I can crop the images or not. And these were two landscape, this was portrait, so that alters the appearance. I can link to the media file, which is a good idea. And the image size, I can show full size, large, thumbnail. So if I show thumbnail, it'll reduce them all. I think I've chosen medium. And the block spacing is the gap between the images. So I'm going to update this page. And we can view the page. And this is what the page looks like. 